It's the magic of the musicals here on your favourite local radio station. It's Alex Belfield talking to the big stars of the big musicals. And Joseph is certainly one of the biggest shows ever. Andrew Lloyd Webber is certainly one of the most famous producers. And Lee Mead is one of the most popular, gorgeous and talented new stars. That's not my words, that's the fans outside. Very flattered. How do you cope with that? How do I cope? Um, It's very flattering. Yeah, I have to be honest. Uh, I just don't think about it too much, really. I mean, it's... um, there after every show we sort of do signings obviously and um, they're out front but it's, it's very fascinating yeah. <laughs> it's quite rare isn't it to find a star of musical theatre it is I think actually and um, it's, it's about a lot of hard work and uh, dedication to what you do as well and, uh, you know there's a lot of celebrities that can go and play parts in the West End but um, a star is a different thing and that's what I'm striving towards hopefully and you know 10, 20 years from now that would be uh, a nice gesture if that happened and is your greatest skill consistency being able to deliver eight shows a week? Because without that, you're useless, really, aren't you? That's very true. I mean, you know, eight shows a week is, is very demanding. It takes stamina. And aside from that, it's, it's how you take on each role that you, you're given. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's about dedication and obviously a respect for, for the part you're playing as well. I, I think you've got to have a genuine passion for what you're doing um, and, and try and keep it fresh as well. Yeah, what I try and do is every show... Don't think ahead in scenes or before. You, you just you live each moment that, that that you're portraying, and that that's an important thing. One of the guys downstairs was just telling me that when you take a day off, fewer people come through the doors. That's a great thrill, isn't it? To know that actually you're making and breaking this production. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's I, I know there's a huge level level of support there, which is very flattering, and it's amazing to know that as well. And um, I just hope that I can go out there and deliver a good performance every night of the week and, and make people happy. So. And you're one of those rare reality stars that's actually good and got talent. There aren't many of those, are there? Um, questionable, I guess. Um, <laughs> cases have happened where there's, there's been not very talented people that have, have taken on roles, I guess, and won competitions. But yeah, I, I was working for a few years, or seven or eight years before, in musicals and um, obviously recording and stuff and, and trained as well. So for me, it meant so much you know so much to really achieve that that goal of, of winning the part and of course we're talking about the BBC One show Any Dream Will Do which has really changed the format of these singing shows it's not about embarrassing people and finding the rubbish people to make fun of mm. it's about finding people who are actually really really good and not really really good but brilliant and able to perform live eight times a week that's quite a different skill isn't it completely uh, and I think also it's about nurturing that talent as well and, and for me that's what the programme did it was obviously very commercial because it was on prime time TV but um, with the calibre of panel and, and coaches and everything else it was their job to find that final 12 from over 10,000 guys to uh, for the programme and, and bring them to a level where they can perform you know eight shows a week whoever the, the, the winner was going to be. And you're never going to be able to answer this question, but what is it about you that made you win? Why do you think the public warmed to you more than everyone else? Have you managed to put your finger on that yet? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I still wake up sometimes and, and try and work out why. I think uh, there's a genuine passion for, the, for wanting to play the part. I think that counts for a lot. Um, I felt ready at this point in my life and my career, you know, the, the, the age that I was at and the experience I've had. And it was just pure determination as well. And maybe in some way that that helped really, and, and obviously your personality counts for a lot as well. And that that was the scary thing that you're you're being judged on your on your talent, but also on TV, people are judging your personality personality as well. So that comes into account. And the pressure of doing live TV on a Saturday night for someone who's not used to that kind of pressure to hit those notes. What went through your mind on the average song that you were singing? Uh, well, the first three or four weeks, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous because you're going out to like seven, eight million people and live every week. And that, that took a while to get used to. But because it was a small studio audience of like 300, you you tend to just um, get used to the atmosphere and, and, and the environment and you, you go out there and just sing a song and and you're solely concentrating on that. And do you just think there's a camera there, not seven million people? Do you forget the fact that it's anything other than that studio audience? That's what I tried to do, yeah. <laughs> I was, I'd look down the barrel and, um, you know, perform. But obviously we knew that there's a lot of people watching, but I, I try not to think too much about how many. How is it for you seeing your name on the billboards when you come down the Strand here in the West End? Has that always been your dream? Yeah, I, I think it's been anyone's dream, really, if they're, if they're being honest. Yeah, it's, 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 very, it's a great feeling to have your name outside the front of a theatre, but um, 
it's, it's a wonderful feeling but I, I guess it's not that that drives me completely I think you know as I said before it was always the role that I wanted to play um, but yes it's, it's great to walk past the Strand and see yourself outside how are you feeling when you're doing those big numbers and we're all meant to be crying because you're meant to be emotional are you as into it as you appear to be or would you be some quivering wreck by the end of the week completely you, you have to be um, completely focused and, and into that that moment that, that specific moment where you're singing that song or you're doing a duet or you're acting a scene you it can't be any less than that I don't think and, and that's what makes it real and um, and genuine if, if you're not concentrating or, or you're thinking of your dinner or, you know, the, the line ahead, then you're not being in the moment. And, and uh, it sounds cliche, but that's what you have to do, I guess. I don't think you're going to admit this, and I wouldn't blame you for, for saying mm. it's not true, but you were way out in front very early on in the series. I think Jodie in, in this Oliver programme that they've just done was way out in front for most people. Have you either got it or you haven't in this business? It seems to me watching that programme, some people can just do it and some people have to work really hard and can't do it. Yeah, uh, it's a good, good question. Um, I guess, you know, if you've got a natural talent for something, that, that isn't always enough as well. I mean, you can have a certain gift, but it's also nurturing that as well. And that's what I've been doing for years. And, you know, it's not a case of walking out and this, just performing. And that's why I was saying that I, I felt ready at that point in time for the show. But I guess certain people do have that charisma or X factor or whatever you like to call it. But um, you need that extra hard work that comes with it as well, because you're nothing without that. Very finally, some quick questions. What's that Andrew Lloyd Webber like then? Andrew, he's he's a lovely man. Yeah, he's very, very, uh, very down to earth, which is refreshing. And um, we had dinner last night actually. We saw him yesterday, and yeah, he's you know he's very passionate about his work and what he does, and and that's the the uh, the main thing that fascinated me that, that somebody that's so successful and has been going for so long, how they're they're still so hungry and and so driven as well he, he's thinking of the next thing and working on, on a new show and you know and he's, he's a strong believer in, in um, nurturing talent as well and making sure that that's, that's kind of looked after and what's it like for you meeting stars who know who you are um, you're no longer the guy watching the TV and the stars <laughs> they're the stars knowing you that's an odd feeling isn't it very strange yeah I've, I've, cause I've done a few concerts now and um, interviews and TV things I've met like you know people like Michael Parkinson and Tom Jones and people like this and it's uh, I can't remember exactly who but there's been moments where they said oh hi Lee how are you doing how's the show going and it's like it's, it's very bizarre it's just to think that they know who you are now but uh, it's great Yeah, it's a great feeling and Graham Norton what does he make of you now does he still come and see the show are you still in contact I haven't seen Graham for a few months actually um, yeah I mean, he's a massive fan of the show as well he, he's that was it I was, I was at the I was doing a radio interview actually and it, it, was, it was there the same day and we saw each other then but he's a very funny man very funny guy and Denise, do you see anything of her? I, th I hope so. <laughs> Since we're dating. Yeah. How's that going? I mean, we're so mm. pleased for you, and I think that's the reaction you get outside. It's interesting, all the ladies there. People mm. are genuinely happy that you're happy. That doesn't always happen in the media, does it? No, I, I think it's just important to live your life and um, look after your relationship. It's the same with any person, really, and we're very happy at the moment. So. And it's not easy, is it, when you're doing this gig and you don't get home till 10 o'clock, half past 10 at night and then you're out eight times a week and you're trying to be showbiz in between and she's got, obviously, massive TV commitments. It's not easy. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, we're both very busy, but I guess if you want to be with someone that much, which we both do, then you make it work. And, um, you know, so far, so good. So. And what's the chances of Denise Van Outen Mead? You know, it's a long way off yet, so it's still early days. Well, well I think we're all hoping. Wait and see. Two showbiz people together in the West End, and, and what about working together? Is there any chance you could do a gig in the, in the near future? Um, I, I think in general, we, we've got our separate careers, so I, I guess never say never. Um, but, you know, she does a lot of presenting and, and her shows and things as well, so who knows? And as for you, um, you're the big star of this show. There's no reason why you'd leave. There's no reason why you'd want to leave. But there's got to be other gigs out there that you'd like to do. Is there anything that could compare to this? Because you are, after all, Joseph and the star. Yeah, I've, I've been talking to friends about this already, and... Um, I leave in January. It'll be an amazing year and a half, and I've always wanted to do an original musical. That's what I'm looking to do in the future one day, hopefully. It'd be nice to be involved with a new show. Um, but I don't think I can top this, really. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what has shot me to 
being known and um, give me that platform and it's, it's got a special place in my heart so I guess the, the new challenge for me is, is going to be finding the right role and um, and what I'm suited for as well Congratulations on being you you make it look so easy seeing you live and seeing you perform and hearing your voice is just so natural it's like I said earlier you've either got it or you ain't Thank you very and much. I think that's the reason you won that leagues above anybody else let's be honest and congratulations on this show and thank you for talking to me on a two show day you, you didn't need this did you? <laughs> that's fine thanks a lot